Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Alabama won tonight 79 to 75. So McCall, let's get the coach's perspective on this. You're watching this game. This was a, a highly intensity type of game that goes down to the wire. Al Auburn's within a possession. They're right there. Grant Nelson nails. Mark Sears, terrific. What did you see in this game, and how did the Crimson Tide get the win tonight? I thought the two biggest plays in the game were the back-to-back -back offensive rebounds by Nelson. Um, you know, the one, he goes completely vertical. He grabs it, comes down with it, and then the putback dunk was really the statement in the game. I thought that the physicality was just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, what, you know, both teams were being able to get – away with the game was officiated you know I, I mean the referees and i never try to side with the officials but to try to officiate that game with how physical the game was uh was a challenge you know and then the last foul call on a three-point shot to me that just that foul was called because of how fast this game was being played i mean yeah. the pace of the game you thought you would have thought this game was being played in the 90s um because both teams were flying it up and down and huge win. I think the difference in the game was the three point line. You know, Auburn goes five for 25. Alabama makes 11 threes in their own gym. That's the complete difference maker. Um, but both teams playing at a high, high level, competing at a high level. And the physicality from both teams is what really stood out to me and what the officials were letting him get away with in terms of arm bar, hand checking, picking the ball up. And uh, you love to see it. You, you hate to see when there's tick attack fouls being called. So, um, you know, kudos to both coaches, you know, two of the top four best teams in the sec. It's not even close. I give Nate, Nate Oates so much credit just in terms of his scheduling. That's why I brought that up when we were interviewing him, you know, his team's prepared going through what they went through. And look, everyone was counting them out when they lost three games in a row. Oh, by the way, yeah. the three losses were Purdue at Creighton and Arizona. Like, come on. Like, this is a good team. One of the best teams in the SEC. And they're playing like it, and that's why he scheduled the way he did, and that's exactly what he said. Yeah, Nate, you know what it was for me? There were two things that really stood out. One, you mentioned it, the the offensive rebounds from Grant Nelson. Like, the, the knock for me on this team was that – it's basically built to have Grant Nelson kind of be a small ball five for a lot of the game. And I don't think he's got the the toughness or the strength to be able to do that. And I thought he showed a little bit of something tonight. Um, and the other part of it was, you know, they, they struggle defensively. They are um, one of the best offensive teams, as, as Nate mentioned, like a top two offense on Kempom in college basketball. They're outside the top 60 in defensive efficiency. And that's not the kind of thing that's going to win you a lot of games in March, right? You can win a game. It's not how you string together wins. And I thought the fact that they were able to dig deep and get like two to three straight stops down the stretch said a lot about uh, what those players believed and, and how they reacted to basically being called soft by their coach in public. Like it's not, that's not a comfortable thing to do. And, and I mentioned it in the interview, but um, you, you have to, you have to, believe in your players and believe in your guys to be able to go out there and say this about them um, publicly. I, I was also, and I don't know if you guys agree with this, I was really, really impressed with Auburn as well. They dug themselves a 15-point yeah. hole on the road in yes. that environment against a really good yeah. Alabama team that can score, and they came all the way back, and they had a chance to win that thing at the end. And by the oh, way, yes. like I, I said this, I, look, I'm anti-fouling up three, McCall. I know that's yeah. not like the best way to win. I'm here for the entertainment. Like, don't foul up there. Let's get some buzzer beaters. Let's get some last second shots. Let's get some. Which wasn't a foul. Shots. Which wasn't a foul. Oh, that right? wasn't a foul at all. Yeah. That was hey, but because of how seconds. fast the game was being played, the referees called it. And here's my only mm -hmm. issue Why did Pat Adams take so long between the second and third free throw? Like, did you yeah, notice that? Because, this is, like, this is just Baker what Mazar, like, he knocks down the first two and then, like, Something happens, and Pat Adams kind of walks away, and then they come back, and they, it was like – Important question. So. Important question, 60 seconds. Robert, who's the best team in the SEC? Oh, man. I, I think I'm going to stick with Auburn. Um, wow. 
I think I'm going to stick with Auburn. Just I trust them defensively. I think the offensive there is there. They come in waves, and I know that it, they don't have like that elite go-to guy, but I think that it's just the the group and the system can kind of overwhelm you on both ends of the floor. I'm, I'm going to stick with Auburn even after this loss. McCall? Go ahead, Matt. It's hard for me to do this as a Gator alum, but I got to go to the Vols, Dalton Connect. <laughs> um, he's that guy. He's the best player in the SEC. Um, but I love the way that these two teams competed tonight. Loved it. it. You know what my favorite thing is, McCall? You say this about every SEC team. It's hard as a Gator alum, and then you say whatever the SEC team is. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.